I was teaching Book of Mormon at BYU and I had this sister come and uh, she was a mom and she raised her hand and she said, I have got to tell you this story. She said, my son went on the Pioneer Trek reenactment thing in 1997. This was, <laughs> this was a reenactment. This one started in Nauvoo and they walked and he showed up there in 1997 with his Sony Walkman. Now, young people, a Sony Walkman <laughs> is an ancient predecessor of the iPod. <laughs> and they took his Sony Walkman, and he was pretty mad about that, and gave him his assignment to ride uh, behind this ox cart, some oxen. And he said, instead of hearing my music, I heard clunk, 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 for like thousands of miles. And he got all the way to Salt Lake City. Mom wasn't sure if he'd be mad or happy or what. Guess what he said to his mom? Mom, I learned what it means to ponder. What a great statement. Sometimes if there's any silence, we just want to put the earbuds in. We want to turn something on. And pondering has kind of become a lost art. If we want to get those answers, there's got to be some time for quiet when we can actually listen and bring down any interference that we are creating and listen to what the Lord might want to say to us. Music